Three-year-old Hannah Weshi would hug and kiss her dad when he dropped her off next door at the babysitter's. But March 8th, 2018. And that morning was a little different because she kept asking for a kiss over and over and over again. One final kiss and Jason Weshi was off to work, only to be called by the babysitter, Lindsay Parton, moments later, saying Hannah collapsed. Weshi rushed back to the house. She was kind of gasping for air. She wasn't really breathing. Um, I kept telling her to breathe, and when I'd tell her to breathe, she'd take a breath and then let it out slow. Hannah never regained consciousness. We were pretty much told that she wasn't going to make it. She died 10 days after being rushed to Children's Hospital. Prosecutors say Parton killed the toddler. But the defense says Hannah was only in Parton's care that morning between 30 seconds and a minute, and someone else caused the injuries that led to Hannah's death. Today, defense attorney Melinda Cook Howard grilled Weshi about inconsistencies in his story to investigators. You lied about who was present with Hannah. Correct. Weshi's friend Chris had been over, a detail Cook Howard says Weshi left out. And so you lied to the police about your whereabouts on the last night of Hannah's life, correct? Correct. Weshi said it was more of confusion than a lie. Cook Howard also questioned him about his frequent use of the GoFundMe system. Where she said he raised $10,000 to pay for Hannah's funeral, and now he wants to start a camp for abused children. And you're seeking donations in the amount of $785,000 to do so? Yes, ma'am. And just moments ago, inside the courtroom, uh, prosecutors rested their case. The defense is expected to begin tomorrow with a recorded deposition from Dr. Werner Spitz. He's a pathologist, and if his name sounds familiar, it's because he's testified in high-profile cases across the nation, including O.J. Simpson, Casey Anthony, and also Ryan Widmer. Reporting live in Hamilton tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.